just look what I'm looking at over there. Doesn't get much better than this. Today I'm in the Peak District in the Edale Valley and the weather's just about going to hold I think so we can hike up to the top and get some great sunset photos. It's around about a two hour hike so we're setting off around about 4pm. Should be up there by about 6 which will be ample time to just get some shots from the top. We're going up um, Grinslow Brook which is a stunning location in the Peak District if you haven't been there. I wanted to talk today a little bit about failure in photography. So I think it's something that often people are a little bit scared about and they fear failure. And I know that it's so important for anybody to succeed or to have images that they're really proud of to fail a lot. I've certainly failed over the last 30 odd years doing photography a lot more times than I've succeeded. And it's just part and parcel of what you need to do to get absolutely amazing shots. And I want to talk a little bit more about it throughout this trip. Try to find some peace of mind. This is the, the third time that I've been on this walk. Um, and what I've come here again today is to try and find some good locations for when the weather's absolutely perfect and the conditions are really, really good. So you can see, as I'm walking past, now the heather is just starting to come out. So this is like a gorgeous bank of purple heather in about probably three or four weeks time. And I want to make sure that I just don't leave too much to chance really. So I know today is probably not going to be perfect. It's probably going to be a little bit of a failure in terms of getting a perfect image. But I know that next time I come, I'll know where to go and where the heather's going to look good and where there's maybe a good composition. So if the timing's really short, I can make sure I can go to that spot and get those great conditions. I always remember a famous quote from Ansel Adams, which is, landscape photography is a supreme test of the photographer, but also the supreme disappointment. I suppose that alludes to the fact that he probably had quite a lot of disappointments from climbing in Yosemite and getting some great photos, but sometimes not getting what, exactly what he wanted because of the conditions. And really, the more you try, the more you go somewhere, the more you experiment, try different things, the more likely you are to succeed. So I made it to the top, and we're just walking along the ridge now, trying to find a place to set up. But as you can see over here, there's a big blank of clouds. And really, this is a sunrise location, which I'm hoping to get in the morning. Um, but I really think the sun's going to go behind that bank of clouds. Now, talk about failure. That might be it, but still, what I do know is that the purple is much more, much further advanced than I thought it was going to be, which is great news and means now I, I can perhaps concentrate on taking some more photos of the heather. Um, well, it's stunning up here, it's really stunning. The rock for formations just create this layered effect, which is going to be really good for sort of compositions and the views. Oh, truly amazing truly amazing just look what i'm looking at over there doesn't get much better than this we fell apart you love somebody new lost in Okay, well, we found a spot 
and it's a pretty good view. And the sunsets over there, and because we're quite high up and there's a slightly higher ridge behind us, we're not, we're not going to really see the sun at, at sunset. Um, what I'm hoping it's going to do is there's going to be a break in the clouds and it's going to light up the clouds over there. So I'm going to be shooting almost 180 degrees away from the sun, which is something that I don't usually do, but I think it'll still work. Obviously, there's not going to be any sun on the heather in the foreground. So again, this is something that you know I've learned when I come up here again, it, it's definitely a sun, sunrise location. Or I need to be on that other ridge over there for, for sunset. Anyway, it's time for an apple break. But before I have an apple break, I want to tell you about two things that are really, really useful um, if you're doing, going to do any vlogging. So first, this is a quad lock, which I use for my phone. And it connects, so there's a, there is, on the back of my phone, there is a little connector. I connect it into my phone, and then I can put it on a tripod. It's invaluable when you're trying to do um, B-roll footage. I use it all the time, it's very cheap. There's a link in the description to, to get one if you want to get one on, on Amazon. And then the other thing, which is this, um, um, I don't know what it's called really, it's just like a clamp basically, but it's what I put my GoPro on. I put this on it and it's again, fantastic. I can hold it and vlog really easily. And I can also, if I want to, I can clamp it to things for doing B-roll, so again, it's really simple really light these two things make it really easy to do great footage for this channel um i know a lot of people have asked how i do some of the, the video in so i just want to tell you about these two things great top tip okay i'm going to get set up and then we're going to take some photos okay if we can get through the midges then what i've got if you can just sort of See my camera set up here is there's some great rocks there. I mean, these just rocks are fantastic. These midges are evil. These rocks are fantastic. They, there's a really good leading line of a, a just a bend in the rock there. There is just some heather coming through, which is looking good. As you can see from the sun um, in, in the background there, all the cloud in the background there, it's just gone. So you can't, you know, we, we, we don't really have any great light, but the, the, if the light comes on here now, this is going to be good. Some good clouds and there's a leading ridge there, which just looks fantastic. I've just got to fight away these midges, wait for some light, and then we should be really good. come further away from where the midges are which are over there near the river I think I've escaped them so what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to find a composition with the rocks I mean there's, there's some really good leading lines with the rocks but and this is when you need everything to come together you need the light you need the timing you need the subject you need the composition everything to come together and that's not going to happen tonight it's definitely not going to happen but if I, go back with a, if I go back with an image or a composition, I think, with the right light, when I come back there, I know that's going to be amazing. Then that's been a success, hasn't it? So that photo that might not be one of my portfolio photos has helped me massively in producing something which is better in the future. Right, Mitch has caught me up. Got to go. <laughs> So I've moved just a, a little bit further down the path now and you can see that the, the sun has just dropped below the clouds and it's beautiful light, absolutely beautiful. So it's sort of lighting up all the foreground and the heathers that you can probably just see here in the foreground and the rocks and this great sort of dark cloud behind which obviously always looks really good. Now what I've got in terms of my composition is I've got this heather in the foreground and I've got this the river running sort of diagonally across and leading you through into the valley of Edale in the in the in the distance. And then I've got this this hill just up there um, on the right hand side. And what I've checked, and this is really important, is that each corner is good in the image. I don't really like to crop my images, as, or I'd like to try and get them as correct as I can in camera. Um, obviously, there's going to be maybe a small amount of cropping. Um, so I've checked all around it. I've really thought about that carefully. Um, I've taken a few shots of my iPhone as well and had a look at those. And then, um, you yeah, know, that's around about a 35 millimeter lens on an iPhone. 
So I know it's going to be slightly wider than that, but it gives you a good idea of, of, of how you might visualize that image. And what I'm trying to do is, as the light's going down here, there's just these grasses that you can see and the light's catching them. And this heather sort of um, holds the bottom of the frame and then leads you up to these grasses. And then you're taken away by the river into the valley and then the far distant hills. It just looks amazing. Nothing can be better than being out on the top of the hill, away from everybody, on a day like this. Fantastic. Well, the sun is just going down over here and I'm running around frantically, one, trying to get away from the midges, and two, to see if I can get a composition over here. I want to get these rocks. Oh, by the way, I'm filming on my iPhone now because my, I've left my batteries back over there at the camp and my GoPro's just run out. So I want to get these rocks and then the background um, hill. It's just still got the light on it. And then I just want to, there's, I think there's a line of grasses leading to that hill just down here. So I'm walking over here, see if I can find that line. I think, getting pretty close. Here we go. So can you see this line here? And actually there's a rock here as well, which looks really good. Right, I'm gonna set up here and grab a photo. Oh, the light's just so fantastic now. It's not lighting up at the, at the foreground here, but this reflected light off the sun is just, off the clouds is really good. So, what I'm trying to do is this rock down here, hopefully you can see it in this wide angle enough. What I'm trying to do is get lines that lead to that far hill over there. Um, so I've aligned that rock. So when you see it on the wide angle, it will lead there. The grasses are sort of pointing in that direction as well. And, and I don't have to do anything else. Everything else takes care of itself. It's just stunning. Really, really stunning. I'm going to do one here and then I'm going to move just over there and see if I can get another one. Right, I've got to stop because the midges need two hands. Okay, so I've managed to find another thing. It's been a really manic vlog this time. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, but I've got these grasses here. They've just been lit up by the most golden sun. I didn't do a video whilst I was taking because I literally had about one minute. The mountain in the background was lit up as well. This is the shot of the day, without a shadow of a doubt. We now need to take refuge in our tent because we are being eaten alive. So thanks ever so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. You love somebody new, lost in your heart, baby.